Hey gang Zippo, I got a video request and it's a pretty good one. Uh, I had somebody ask, how do you in the world do you get the brush plate back into one of these Briggs starters once you tear it apart? And this holds true for most all starters. There are some brushless out there, but for the starters that have a brush plate like this one, as you can see I've got a socket stuck in there. Before I took everything apart, I found a socket that fit in the hole of the brush plate after I moved the tail cap. Found a hole or a socket that fit in the hole of the brush plate and I pushed that down in as far as I could and then raised the brush plate up so that the brushes fell onto the socket and didn't fall out of their respective spots. Uh, if you get into a position where you have already released all the springs and all of the brushes and you don't know where they go it's actually pretty easy on these uh, brake starters and most other starters if you just follow the wires and look at uh, where the wires are going to okay each one of these metal plates here when you have the starter put together you'll see these on either side of your cap or of your uh, frame rather okay where's the groove there's the groove that'll be down in there like that and you will you'll see these after you take the cap off and even before you take the cap off those will be aware so uh, those are your negative brushes your negative brushes follow the metal to the brush and just make sure that when you put it together that each brush each negative brush is opposite of itself and same thing with the positive make sure they are opposite of themselves they're both connected to your pin wire that you connect your battery cable to your starter cable okay so pretty easy just make sure they're opposing one another that way they're hitting the correct lands and grooves on the commutator when you go to start it and you'll have full starting power provided your commutator and your armature is good so the one problem that comes into play after you stick the socket in and pull everything apart is the socket is smaller than the commutator so how do you take care of that problem? How do you get those brushes back and out of the way enough to get them over the commutator without chipping the brushes or boogering up the commutator? Well, you simply take your socket and push your socket just about halfway down those brushes. So you can see the edge of the brushes here. All you need is just enough room so you can get your finger on there and compress those brushes and what are you going to do well I've got jeweler's wire here and all I've done is just bent a right angle on them it's really stiff wire so you're going to take these and if you make them about like that they don't have to be exactly like that all right make them about like that you know roughly a half inch long on each end and then maybe an inch and a half long then all you do quite simply is you'll take and I'm going to do this upside down so I'm going to take a hold of this brush and I'm going to push it back into the frame and compress that spring when I do that that gives me a little gap that I can get into with my with my jeweler's wire and I put that down in there and just push down and when I push down, it acts like a lever against the frame and it holds that brush back. You can see that brush is back. Just lather, rinse, repeat. Do that to all four. So I'm going to do that here real quick. Then we'll throw this starter together and should help uh, at least one or two people that watch my channel. Compress the brush. insert the wire and it's a nice neat tidy little way to do it and it pulls the brushes back far enough so that you can then insert the brush plate over top of the commutator and then release your wires and you're all good to go so now as you can see I've got a big gap all the way around that socket. The only thing holding that socket in is the frame itself. So I can pull that socket out. And you can see all of my brushes are held back 
that's key right there those wires you can see get some good light here there you can see those wires right there holding those brushes back now assemble your frame to your armature and you have to be really careful doing this because you got sharp edges on the edge of these laminations you don't want to hit your magnet and chip your magnet and have a chip of magnet floating around inside the frame that's really really bad so with a lot of control hold on to everything and gently now right now that magnets want to pull that frame right up there it's got it's pinching my hand okay as you can see so just let that come on into position carefully there you go and you'll orient this once you get your brush plate on and the way that you'll orient it will be so that your screw holes line up you got your screw hole here and a screw hole here and your bolts that hold everything together go through the entire frame so you can just eyeball it for the moment where they at right there okay now see if we can see there you can see the daylight there and then the daylight there that's got it close and that's good enough now you take your brush plate and be sure to orient your brush plate correctly you've got a deep well here that's where your starter wire connector goes and you just take it and just set it down on there just that easy and you'll see some of those brushes start to push themselves out or the the wires and that's fine because you're golden everything's in there you are where you need to be pull those wires out keep everything oriented good take your cap set your cap on align your cap with your holes I gotta get my bolt lined up here. Hold on. Gotta look down in the hole. There we go. Alright. And just get your first one started. Oops. Hang on, folks. I'm having an issue. Where'd you go? On that figure. Usually I just throw these suckers right together. And now this time I'm having, there we go, alignment issues. Um, just wiggle everything around and get that bolt in. Don't put it all the way in. Just kind of finger tighten it down to just where it's touching the cap. All right. Turn it around. Put your other bolt in. It should line up a lot better. And the magnets are going to fight with you too. But there you go. Then, simply tighten them down a little bit, and I say just a little bit to start with, because you want to take the frame and just kind of wiggle stuff and rotate your armature and make sure that you're uh, in good shape. Then go ahead and tighten everything all the way down. Now we're going to test it. So let me grab a battery real quick. Boom, got a battery. Let me grab a cable real quick. Sorry about that, I changed my mind midstream and grabbed a different set of cables. Um, and you want to test it before you put it back on your uh, tractor so negative to negative just like jumper cables positive to positive okay and then 
let me move everything up here just a little bit. You see how the battery is connected, obviously. Then you just want to take and connect to your post with your positive. I just loosened the nut up a little bit so I'm a hold of the bolt real well. Okay, got that on your positive post, and then you're just going to touch your ground to the frame. Ready? And hold on to it because there's a lot of torque in these things. So there you go. That is how you can get the brushes replaced. Brushes. Brushes replaced in your Briggs and Stratton starters and a lot of the others. The Tecumseh's are the same, Kohler's are, are real similar. Uh, even the larger starter generators, uh, same principle. Use those little wires and it's a whole lot cheaper to replace a brush plate for 15 bucks than it is to buy a whole new Briggs starter which is going to cost you in the area of 80 to 125 dollars depending on how greedy the vendor is so there you have it that is how you put a brush plate in a starter I hope this was helpful to at least one person maybe two people and I know it's kind of a long video but I stayed on point didn't tell you any stories didn't babble so any dislikes that I get those are just trolls <laughs> anyway, it's Zippo. Later. Mission accomplished.